Dad gets home at about, what, 10.30 a.m. and he comes home to a letter from the government saying, Sheldon... Yo, 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 what's going on, Team Twitty? I hope you're all super well. Fourth day of professional football training in a row. I'm excited, legs are getting heavier and heavier every single day. I continue to complain about them, but we keep pushing through, man. So this morning I had three eggs, oh, it's all thrown out. Three eggs, a banana, and some raspberries. Now it's time to head off to training. I'm being picked up by Jeff. I'm hoping that I can introduce you guys to him. Absolute top guy. I want him to tell you guys a little bit about what he does. So we're gonna go down, do that now. I gotta leave in two minutes. And it's just another hot day, man. Ah, oh, these hot days are killer. So nothing special this morning. We're training a little bit earlier, which is good. It means it's not as hot, but I mean we're, oh look, we're starting at nine, which is 26 degrees compared to the other day when we usually start about 10 which is 29 degrees I don't know it's not a whole lot different tomorrow is 37 degrees man what oh well that's gonna be my day so oh man all right I gotta go all right so from the change room well session is over hair is not looking so great but from that change room we then walk out here and this is where we go after training oh real bright but have a look at this we got, so this is the grass field that we train on over there. Uh, we use that one. Apparently they use this artificial pitch in the winter. And then you have like, how many fields can I count? There's another one over there. There's two over that side. So four, six, like seven, eight. It's probably like nine, 10 fields all along here. Man, it's insane, but it's so hot. So that's where we do our sessions. Loved it, now we're back inside. And literally no word of a lie, when you step in through that door, it is so nice. It's air conditioned in here. Oh my God, it's it's like you've done the hard stuff, the hard work, it's hot. You come in and whew, you just relax a little bit. So it's nice, I'm heading home now, getting some food, let's go. Right, so same apartment, pretty much uh, at someone else's house, having apartment, like house, we got Jeff. What's up, guys? Surely you, everyone knows you from Matt's vlogs, right? Potentially, yeah. Wait, were you on his vlog or were you just on his podcast? I was on Matt's podcast recently, but I've been on his vlog. The first time me and him were here in Tulsa. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't remember that one. Yeah, yeah. That no, would have been a way, while way back. Wow. Yeah. Right, so we're having lunch. What are you cooking up for us? I'm cooking some pasta with chicken Ooh. and vodka sauce. So it's going to be... Shelly, your first time having <laughs> some vodka sauce? So I, hope, I hope it tastes Damn, well. I don't know. I've never... <laughs> I guess we'll just see what it's like. It's, anyway, it's quality. so what do you do in your off time? Obviously, you play for Tulsa. Yeah. Working hard there. You usually start like every game. Yes. Uh, say. Recently, I had an injury, so I have the brace on now to just keep support. Yeah. Um, off time, just relax, watch soccer. Uh, Full time agency yeah. with uh, OPSM and just always working. Working hard. So yeah. I'm doing a lot. Of, Jeff is the one who's getting me all of the contacts and everything. Yeah. So it's looking good. I think the future looks good. The future is super bright. Obviously, right. everyone knows all the work you put in, so yeah. we're just hoping to work together and get something right. Yeah, exactly. I'm yeah. excited. So soon we'll get more info on Jeff and more info of everything else, but oh, I'm excited, man. <laughs> no, appreciate it, brother. So I finished over at Jeff's place, catching up with him again tomorrow. Obviously, he usually travels with the team, but injuries hold people back sometimes. And I'm pretty sure, I think it's Hoffenheim he trialed out at the first division club in Germany. He was also close to signing in Japan. I've never seen him play, like actually watched him play. But man, he looks like, he plays defensive mid, so I could see him like destroying the midfield, bro. Anyway, heading home now. We were just watching DJ's vlog. If you don't know DJ Dean, he actually did a day in the life. He plays for Tulsa and he did a day in the life on Matt's channel. And one of the things he said, he didn't realize as a pro how much downtime you have. And that's something I'm starting to realize now. I kind of knew that. But man, you train in the morning, you finish at, what? We finished at 11.30 today, probably 11. Went to the grocery store, came home, had lunch, and then you have no other duties to fulfill for the rest of the day. Your only focus and your job is training. 
I mean, if you wanted to do extras, that would be your job. But man, I just need to get through this week of training sessions with the team. That's the main goal. Tomorrow, it's gonna be the final tough session. I get two days off, which is actually really good. I need that two days off, man. And then we're back into the team training Monday through to Friday again. So it's not gonna be easy. That's where it's really going to kick in because right now it's with the assistant coach. You guys know that. When the team comes back from their travels, that's when it's gonna get super serious because first team coach will be there. I need to perform. So right now it's kind of just getting me up to speed, which is really, really good. But oh, dying. I need to just chill out for a bit. Tell you that. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. How you going? Come here. Oh, and then she's gonna rub up on me. Oh, yes. Yes, Gucci. Slay, oh my god. All right, settle down. Yo, it's been so long since I've seen you guys. It's currently 4.51 p.m. If I was used to this sort of training load, one of the things I'd really wanna do is kinda of get a double session in or really maybe even go to the gym and do some light stuff. But again, it's just focusing on training, man. And I'm sorry, but most of these vlogs are just filmed in here. That's just the life. One of the things I really wanna stay true to is documenting the process that I'm in right now which is showcasing this journey of signing a professional contract. I wanna show the not so pretty stuff, which is sitting in this apartment from, what, 11.30 until 10 p.m. going to sleep, waking up for training and going again. That's not pretty. I don't wanna make this, I don't wanna fantasize it for people because I know how many people are out there that are seeking a professional contract and I don't want it to seem, I don't wanna glorify it because at the end of the day, man, this might be you in a couple years or in 10 years or next week or in a couple months you might be going for pro trials and this might be your life literally just sitting in your room going to training once or twice a day this is what it is i don't want to force content and trying to create cool things that are heaps fun when you know it's not like this from 11:30 to 10 p.m it's not that fun and i stress it a lot which is try and find yourself a roommate i'm fortunate enough to have Matt, now that Matt's left, I think one of the things that's helped me a lot is having Gucci, the cat, she, uh, we just have a cuddle, something, well not a cuddle, I try to pat her and then she runs away, but like, oh there she goes, I locked her in there just for a bit of fun, why not? <laughs> Well, actually, I didn't lock her in there. She wanted to stay in there. But this is the life, man. This is truly it. And then next week, I'll be used to the training schedule. But even then, I don't think I want to do extras because we'll be training every day. And that's like the proper trial. But right now, this is it, man. I know the NFL kicks off tonight. So I'm, going, I'm hoping to try and watch that. Some sort of entertainment, man. I decided to come outside. There is this amazing green grass area with a wall down there. The problem is the grass is real bad. Now I wanna make this super clear. It's also actually so cool. We got the highway up here as well. You can see cars driving past. This place is actually sick, man. Now I wanna make this super clear. This is not a training session for me. I am not trying to get better from coming out here and kicking the ball. I am just coming outside because I'm bored, I want some fresh air. I'm probably just gonna kick the ball against the wall just to, you know, have something to do. I love football, I love kicking the ball, so hey, why not just kinda do something? It's much better than just sitting up in the room. I mean, look, if you wanna look at all the benefits, yeah, I'm getting touches on the ball, that sort of thing, but hey, I just wanna have a bit of fun, man. I just wanna be out here kicking a ball. Look, man, there's so much green, so much space. This is America, baby. They got like, in, a, in Australia, in Sydney, you'd have like from here over to the wall, which is about eight meters. And then you'd have to there, which is like eight meters. It'd be like eight by eight square max. But they just have like all this space for nothing. So, uh, you know, I'm just gonna have a bit of fun. Again, making it super clear. This is not a training session. <laughs>
Yeah, I'll tell you one thing. Even though I come out here just for a bit of fun, I can't help the inner me wanting a bit of competition. This wall right here, it's on like a diet. It's like this. So there's a bit of a bend to it or a edge. And I went one touch. I made sure that I opened up my body and then played. It's easy to kind of take that touch around the corner all the time. I wanted to open up, play, open up, play, open up, play. And I started doing it, I was like, yeah, this is a bit of fun, whatever. Then I set myself a target to get 20 in a row. And I mean, it was only like seven minutes of work, but it was fun seven minutes. I enjoyed myself. That's what I came out here for. I'm sweating a bit. It's hot. I probably, yeah, I got a fat sweat patch on my back. You guys won't be able to see. But I love it, man. I'm loving America. Opportunities, they're coming a plenty but I'm also loving the place. I want to get out a little bit more. When Matt comes back, hopefully we can go out and do some things. And I think I'm liking it more than England, where in England, we just didn't really have the plan. We, I, I enjoyed England, but the thing was, there was no direction to it. I went over, I chanced myself. I thought, you know what, let's try it. Let's get out there, see what we can do. But at the end of the day, that's always going to be difficult. Having an agent, having someone that can kind of guide you in the process and find you those trials, it's gonna help a hundred times. I think that's why I'm enjoying myself a bit more because I know there's direction. I know there's going to be an end product. Rather in England where I was kind of, I guess going around a bit like a headless truck, but that's the learning experience. Go, do I regret going to England? No way. I didn't play a game. I sometimes hated it. But at the end of the day, man, I learned so much in that trip. Knowing, well, getting to know myself, getting to know the process, knowing what I should do next time if I go overseas. And 100%, I've learned so much from that trip. Even though it didn't work out to be what I would have liked it to be. Man, the lessons you take away, it's huge. So gonna head back inside, have a shower, catch up with Gucci a bit. There's no NFL. Anyway, we'll go inside. Now just quickly, I wanna touch on how I nearly missed out on this whole America trip. How it was like this close from me not being able to be here. So in Australia, we have this thing called jury duty and I th I'm pretty sure it's all over the world. Jury duty, you basically get enlisted and you have to go to court and you decide on a case, you're, kind of, you're the jury. I don't know how else to explain it. If you're unsure, just look it up. Anyway, I got enlisted to jury duty about a week before I left. And we got a letter in the post which basically said, Sheldon, you've been enlisted and that goes, uh, it's like a one in a million chance that you're gonna get selected, who cares? I fly on the Friday morning and we booked the tickets on Wednesday night. Now I flew off Friday morning, dad gets home at about, what, 10.30 a.m. and he comes home to a letter from the government saying, Sheldon, you've just been enlisted to 16 weeks of jury duty. Now in Australia, it's very, very difficult to get out of jury duty. Luckily, I had left the country, but if we stuck with not coming over to America early, I wouldn't have been able to leave. I would have had to sit through 16 weeks, five days a week, nine to five in court for 16 weeks, man. So I don't even know what would have happened if I decided to leave on the Saturday morning because we got the letter. I think it's after the point that you've booked the flight. So if we booked the flight after Friday morning, then I wouldn't have been able to go, man. And I just think that's so crazy. Like, it's almost like the universe was saying, Sheldon, you have to leave now, get out. So for me, I thought that was truly crazy. I literally, less than 48 hours. And if I had to stay in Australia for 16 weeks, man, the America wouldn't be an option. I'd have to stay in Australia for next season and it delays my life by another year. So, oh. <laughs> we absolutely dodged a bullet. So I think that's a pretty crazy story. Gonna head off to bed though, Team 20. I'm sun out. Make sure you like on the subscribe and enjoy the journey. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.